Okay, hi, Court. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, <laughs> whatever it is to you. Um, we're coming at you with day 11 of our 30 day beginner yoga series. Um, we are going to start standing this morning, so go ahead and find the top of your mat. All you need is your space. And we'll slowly start to check in, pressing the feet into the earth, the whole foot. Let's talk about the foot for just a second. Many of us pronate one way or the other way. So when we start, we really want to find our foundation. We really want to press a whole foot. So kind of imagining each little corner of the foot. So we don't want to be off to one side or the other. We want to think about, look at the bottoms of your shoes, which side you wear. And you kind of oppose that side, right, to balance out your weight evenly. If you've got nice long toes, this is a great place to spread them out, really press them down through the earth, just like we do with our hands when we go into things like down dog. We want to pull the quads up. We want to squeeze all the way around the belly. But we want to relax the shoulders and keep that space between the ears and the shoulders. For this morning, we'll just take the hands out to the side. Kind of an active Shavasana here. It's nice, long, tall, standing. Checking in with your breath. Kind of taking a moment, scanning the body all the way up and all the way down, just mentally searching for those spaces of tightness and tension throughout your body. Work on honing in and checking in with those spaces as we move through our practice today. Imagine letting that positive energy kind of flow right out your fingers right out your crown. This morning, if we're struggling a bit more, maybe we're allowing that negative energy to flow out. We need to work on allowing that positive energy to flow in. But wherever you're at, maybe putting a little smile on your face. Right now, right now you get to be you. Right now you get to focus on you. Leave behind whatever you've done before. Don't worry about anything that's yet to come. And just be here in this moment. Be present. Be focused. Be a little selfless. Maybe even a little selfish. Right? Give back to you. Focus on you. Refilling your cup. To hopefully find space to fill others. When you're ready, we're simply going to just take a nice little gentle rock side to side. We're going to add a little more to that. We're going to take the hands up at the top here. We're going to kind of go elbow, hand to elbow, elbows up about shoulder height. We're going to turn, and when we do, we're going to point that toe on the opposite side, twisting a little further. Beautiful, slowly release, shake it out. Just taking a little arm circle on one side. And so go out the other way. Good. Other side, take it back. And bring it forward. And we'll take little wrist circles as we inhale the arms up. Press the palms, take a slight pull back. Bring it back to center, circle out the wrist the other way, bring it all the way down. Good. 
Release the hands. Interlace on behind the back. Walk the hands down. Opening the chest. Plant the right foot, slide the left leg over, send the hips to the right, find your balance, use support underneath this left hand if we need to, and fold. Release the center, unwrap that left foot, take the right hand to the right hip, inhale the left arm, and fold. Wrap the left arm over the right arm. Drop the hands to the shoulders or find the full equal arms. Elbows up, shoulder height, hands drop away. Put a slight bend in the knee. Pull in the belly and fold it back. Slowly release. Roll it up. Drop the left hip into the earth, left foot into the earth, cross the right leg over, send the hips out to the left, and fold that left arm. Release, unwrap the feet, left hand to left hip, and fold the right. Bring it back to center. Take the right arm over the left this time. Again, maybe stop and do your back bend there with the hands at the shoulders. Or we'll wrap it up full eagle arms. Feet are about hip width apart. Elbows up, shoulder height, hands strap away. And from here, we pull that belly in. And we fold it back. And slowly. All right, go. Cross the left arm over the body. Give it a gentle pull. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. And switch it up. Feet at the top of your neck. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold it to the earth. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And knees and roll it up. So let's talk about that little section there, that little part of our flow. Um, I cue that differently than your, that, that a lot of yoga instructors do. Right, wrong, or indifferent from my experience, from the people that I've worked with, uh, physical therapists, chiropractor, yazi chiropractor, um, just things that we've seen on the low back and the stress, right? So we will never swan dive in my yoga class, right? When we fold forward, we inhale, we reach. And instead of swan diving here with a flat back, we put a slight bend in the knee, we roll it forward, we tuck the chin into the chest, and we fold into our forward fold. With a much safer variation for the low back and the spine. Every time we're in our forward fold, you'll hear it a thousand times. Slight bend in the knee, chin tucks into the chest. Again, protecting the low back and the cervical. Listening to the body, of course, finding your own variations if you need. When we inhale flat back, no matter who or where, 
we find support underneath the hand. So we don't just let it hang here. Again, supporting the low back, pull the belly in, squeeze the glutes, and find something underneath the hands. If you can't reach the earth, the block, the shins, or the thighs will do just fine. But protecting yourself. Fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Maybe support with the hands and roll it up. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, reach. Maybe take that back for if you like. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Tuck the chin. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, and inhale, sweep with the chair. Knees behind toes, belly pulls in. Hands to heart center, find your balance. Focus, squeeze. And we'll find a little twist. That right elbow is going to go towards the left knee. Maybe it's mild. Maybe we find the left knee. If we do, we put a little resistance against the elbow with the knee so that the knee is not just dropping in and falling apart. Hands through center, and all the way to the other side. Back to center, and inhale, roll it up. Exhale, release. And we are simply going to step back into our warrior one today. So left foot stays planted on the earth. Right foot's going to slide back just about one likely. That right foot spirals out to about a 45 degree angle, but we rotate those hips back to the front. The reason that foot is not all the way this way, parallel with the back of our mat and our warrior womb, is because those hips have to track forward. When the hips are forward, if that foot is out, all of that pressure goes into the knee, right? So just about that 45 degree angle, track the hips forward, find your balance, and then don't reach. Exhale, sweep the hands around behind, interlace, walk them down. Strong legs, strong core, find a focal point, your dristy, something to look at that's not moving. We're going to take left shoulder towards the left knee and just release the hands wherever they go. Bring it back up. Then we're going to try to track the right shoulder towards the left knee this time. Inhale, reach the arms, overhead. Exhale, squeeze the cactus arms. And inhale, reach. Exhale, let's open to our warrior two. So now we spiral the back foot parallel with the back of the mat. Because the hips are tracking to the side, that knee is safe. This front knee is right over the front ankle. Pull the belly in. Right. If we have a severe anterior tilt this way, kind of start to tuck it under. Think about squeezing that pelvis and rotating it under. Arms are just below the shoulder and gazes out over the front middle finger. We have a dressing of warrior two. Simply reach it forward. Slide it back, right arm down, left arm goes over. And let's do that again, center, reach it forward. Slide it back. Release. This time take the right arm behind the body, reach it forward. Slide it back and this time straighten out the front leg. So that now we're in a reverse chicken house or triangle pose. Release the hands. Bring that body forward. Leave the front leg straight and melt it down. Hand to thigh, hand to shin. 
Flogger Earth. We'll bring it all the way back up. Bend the knee as we come up. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Take the hands to heart center. Take a little breath. Shake it out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. Press the right foot into the earth. We're going to slide back to our warrior one on our right side. <clears throat> Checking in. Again, that left foot now is at about a 45 degree angle. Hips are to the front of the room. Right knee is over the right ankle. Inhale, reach. Maybe take a little back in. Beautiful. Bring it center. Release the hands around behind. Right shoulder towards the right knee. Bring it up. And again, we're going to try and cross the left knee over the body towards the right shoulder. Slowly as we come back up, we put a bend in the front knee to bring it up, protecting that knee. Hands to heart center, slide the left foot forward, and then shake it out. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to go into a little bit of balance here, so feel free to slide your way to a wall. Maybe just keep a chair close by. Um, sometimes, depending on what kind of mat you have, it might be nice to step off the mat if the mat's a little too squishy or wherever you're at in your balance, maybe challenging that. So, stay on the right foot. We're going to take the left foot and slide it across. So, angle, calf, or all the way above that knee. I don't want to see any pressure on the knee, okay? <coughs> Protecting the ACL, MCL, no reason to add any extra stress to our knees. We have enough problems, most of us. Arms can go out to the side to add an additional support. Arms can go at heart center or maybe overhead to add a little challenge. Wherever you're at, squeeze the belly in. Shoulders away from the ears. Soften the face, take a breath. And if you ever feel as though you've mastered anything, really, go ahead. Any balancing pose, close the eyes, and you'll totally throw off the equilibrium and have a completely different experience. 
slowly. Plant the left foot. When you're ready, find your tree. Every day is different. Um, our sinus can kind of infection or allergy can affect our balance. Stress can affect our balance. Our breath can affect our balance. Sore muscles can affect our balance, right? So every day is a different process with a different practice, with a different journey. Um, as we get stronger, right? It's important to maintain that balance. We lose it as we get older, whether we like it or not. So use it or lose it. Beautiful. Check it out. There you go. Find the top of your mat if you left. In your own. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. One more thing here. When we inhale, flat back, another thing that I cue a little bit differently, again, just in protection of that low back, is to maintain that slight bend in the knees when we inhale, flat back never locking them out, right? You'll still find the stretch actually almost better through the hamstrings with that slight bend. Exhale, fold. Hands are going to press to the earth, and we're going to step up or walk back to plank. Just holding your plank. Belly pulls in. Hands are below the shoulders. Lowering all the way to our bellies. Hey, Bear, you want to come say hi? Dropping the arms out to a T. Let's take the left cheek to the earth. Pull the right hand in. Thank you. Then the right knee. And then we're going to take the right foot all the way across towards the left I mean, hand, light. up and over. Slide the right arm over, pull the left hand in, bend the left knee. And then this time we're going to take the left foot over towards the right hand. Bring it back to center. We'll take the left hand in front just for support. We'll reach around and find the right foot. If we need a strap for this, feel free. And pull the right foot in towards the glutes. Squeeze the glutes to release the hip flexor. And then just find a little half bow. Straighten out the left hand and inhale it up. And switch it out. Pull the right hand in front. Sweep the left arm around. Find the left foot. Go up and turn here. Go up. Squeeze the left glute. Release the hip flexor. And when you're ready, straighten the right arm out and inhale lift. Slowly release. Take it back to a child's pose. Toes together. Knees out wide. Take a breath. And walk the hands back to meet the body. If you need to sit this one out, if it's a little too much on the knees, feel free. You can unwrap the legs also and kind of do a variation of it here. But you can sit on top of the heels. You can sit on top of a block. 
or you can drop yourself all the way down inside. Listen to the ankles, listen to the knees. Okay. We're going to take the hands, reach them around behind, press the palms into the mat. Squeeze, lift the shoulders, or squeeze the shoulders, lift the chest. Then you can walk down anywhere from there. Dropping through. You can even release elbows to the earth. Again, listen to the knees. Don't take your body through anything that doesn't feel right. Slowly bring it back up. Release the feet around. Straighten the legs out. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Pulling the right knee into the chest, sweeping it up and over, and we'll take our twist over that right knee. Okay, Faye. Release. Let it go. Pull the left leg in, sweep it up and over, and pull it around. Take the soles of the feet together and knees on the fire. Sit up tall and fold it forward. Assist the knees back together. Slide the hands underneath. Hand to wrist or hand to elbow. Tuck the chin under the chest. Round through the back. Oh. I've mentioned this before. This is one of my favorite stretches to do first thing in the morning. Not even really yoga, it's just kind of important. Something that I found that works for me. Coming back to center, find the center of your mat and slowly rolling it down all the way to the ears. Take a little rock side to side. Open the arms out to a seat. Bring the knees to a 90 degree bend. And slowly swing them over to your left hand side. Don't forget, shoulders stay in contact with the earth, even if the knees don't make it. Sweep through the center and take it all the way to the other side. Bring it back to center. We'll make our way into happy baby. We'll take hands behind the thighs or anywhere up into the pinky edge side of the feet. Feet flex towards the sky, knees press towards the rib cage. You can rock side to side or feel free to just stay stationary. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Slowly release. Take the feet to the earth. One little bridge here, and we'll make our way into Shavasana. Hands to the earth, squeeze the lift. Maybe interlace the hands. Oh. Feel free to wiggle through any last little movements your body telling you. Otherwise, make your way into your Shavasana this morning. Any stress on the low back, feel free to keep the knees bent. But really, what I want you to find is that softened state of the body and the mind. Yeah. 
Feeding the negativity at the bottom of your mind. Many times this part of our practice can be one of the most challenging steps. Being able to allow ourselves the space to be quiet and still. Just breathe. Letting go of the chores and the to-do list, the worries, the fears. Just letting it all go. Easier said than done, I know. Trust me, your yoga instructors sit up here and they tell you, do this, do that, breathe, let it go, <laughs> practice. Right? All these perfect words and we seem like, oh, we are just totally put together. I promise you that is not the case. We say these things, we use these words as a reminder to ourselves as well to you. It is a choice. Your happiness, your well-being, your health, you have control over these things. I can encourage you to take more steps in the right direction of your health. Continue on your wellness journey. I'm going free to stay here as long as you like. Otherwise, taking a breath, wiggling the fingers and toes, slowly pulling the knees into the chest, maybe taking a little rock side to side, maybe bringing your way over to one side, but bringing yourself to seated one last time. Inhaling arms, over them. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for allowing me to share my passion with you. The peace be with you all you do. Namaste.